So, today we are going to be looking at the first publicly available version of Ubuntu, version 4.10. So, how well does it hold up in these modern times? Well, let's take a look. Alrighty, so, let's get started with this shit. So, yes, as you can tell, unfortunately, we're using virtual box again. <laughs> But I kind of this is kind of what I have to do for this because for some reason when I try to use Ubuntu 4.10 in VMware or at least when I try to enable 3D acceleration it just it just loses it. No, I don't want a full screen. I don't want a full screen. No. What are we doing? No. Update. <laughs> I actually had to restart my computer twice. It kept giving me an error saying, oh, it was, it was something about Wayland or some stuff. You know, the Wayland, and then you got Xorg and all that stuff. Yeah, this is not a good sign for Wayland. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. So I think with Xorg, I never had any of these problems. Yeah, it could actually be a Wayland thing. Why I'm having issues with VirtualBox. But, but yeah, no, anyway, as, we can, as you can see, we're in Ubuntu, and we just got to... Just gotta reboot, apparently. Let's just go into Ubuntu. Come on, please load. Please load. Please load. What the fuck? Seriously? Why does this keep resetting here? God damn. This is just ridiculous. Oh, well, okay, yeah, yeah, you know what? I'm not goddamn using VirtualBox. I should have known better than to use it ever again. At least on here. Yeah, I know KDE is like, because that's what I'm using right now. But, yeah, it's my desktop environment. But I know that, I think that uses Wayland exclusively. So, unfortunately, that might be part of the problem. Is that these programs aren't fully up to snuff yet. <laughs> it comes to Wayland. Man, fucking tastic. All right, so before I power this on, we gotta go to our disk. We gotta go to advanced we gotta choose ide I'm, i just select that just to be on the safe side and let's go in what do you mean what do you mean thank you holy fucking shit all right so yeah we're just gonna run we're just gonna go into ubuntu here let me set this to scaled mode i guess if there i can't even remember if there's a scaled mode or not holy crap <laughs> oh my god God. All right, let's see if this boots this time. Please tell me this will boot. Thank you. Oh my God. Yeah, no guys, as we can see, here's the first publicly available version of Ubuntu. So yeah, let me turn down the mouse sensitivity. There we go. So yeah, he, yeah, we got our applications. So we got, you know, our accessories. So we got calculator, of course. So we, we could do six plus nine. Nice. Dictionary. What is this dictionary actually? Wait. Oh, that's cool. This so this is like an actual dictionary. Oh my god. That is actually kind of cool. Oh, so it was released in 2003. So, so this is definitely a little bit outdated. But hey, it's the first version of or it's the first publicly available version of Ubuntu. So you can't fault it too much. All right, let's look at the games. Uh Isle Rock Solitaire. Let me guess. Is, it, is this just like... So yeah, that's just Solitaire. Looks almost like just like the regular Microsoft Solitaire. Only it's Linux-based. Attacks. What is this? Uh, new game? Oh, I see. So you have to like... Wait, let me try something. I want to try something real quick. Yeah, that's exactly what this is. Okay. So this... It reminds me of like this old MS-DOS game. I think it's called... Hex or hexagon something it was something along those lines but basically you try to make as much of the circles in the arena your color as, as much as possible basically so like this yeah so so the more the color you know if your team has more of your color on the board than the other team you you win so yeah no it's it's actually kind of easy to understand once you play it a little bit blackjack yeah yeah i'm not i'm not really into blackjack <laughs> well, i'm not really into card games in general but what is this is five or more what the hell is this what is what are you supposed to do here i don't know what the hell you're supposed to do color lines game what if you find yourself with five balls randomly positioned on the board each turn you are allowed to move one ball 
You can move it up or down, left or right, or any combination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After your move, the computer drops three balls again at random. Be the color of the balls. I, ju I just don't understand how you play this though. Like, I know it says, I just can't understand it. It's just one of those things. Like even if I read the directions, maybe maybe it's my art I'm speaking, but it's like one of those things where for me it's like even if you read the directions, you kind of don't <laughs> you kind of don't grasp it. All right, so four in a row. Is this um, can, is this Connect 4? Is this Connect 4, I'm wondering? Like, new game begin. Okay. Yep, this is Connect 4, all right. No, you don't. Uh, no, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, shit, I don't want to drop one there. Erg. Nope. Let me think. Is there a move I could do? Oh, shit. Uh, okay, we're good. We're still okay. We're still okay. Uh, Damn it. Ah, so freaking close, dude. <laughs> All right, so I dropped mine there. Oh God, I'm fucked either way. <laughs> it's a great game. No, I'm gonna drop my ball in the middle. That sounds so freaking wrong, me saying that. I'm just dropping ball. <laughs> no, you don't. Uh, is there any? You know what? I will say this is actually one game I kind of could play for like hours. <laughs> I actually could play this for like a while. Oh shit. Oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. Let me think. Uh, I don't want to drop it here or here, because then, well, fucking A. Why didn't I think about that? Fuck. Yeah, and as you can see, this is also one reason. This is actually the reason why I wanted to try this in Virtual Box. It's be just because of this lag. This game just, it just lags like crazy. Damn it. Can we, oh, uh, there's sound? Hang on, we gotta hear the sound. Is there sound? Is there sound? Hang on. Oh, maybe there's maybe there's not any sound. Oh well. Are we gonna drop one there? Uh, I definitely don't want to drop one there. Uh, fuck. I'm gonna I'm just gonna quit now while I while I can. Genometrus. Hmm. I wonder what this is. Wow. Look at that. It's Tetris. I like the sound effects too. The sound effects are kind of cool. Yeah, I can I can hear the sound effects. I guess I guess that game just doesn't work well with with sounds for some reason. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. As you can see again, yeah. This this game it just or rather this operating system it just lags like crazy on VMware. I don't know how it would be on VirtualBox. Probably worse if I'm gonna be honest. Clapping noise might be hard to hear on your guys' end, but there's like a clapping noise every time I make a tech like I make a I clear a line. <laughs> But yeah, no, like I said, it's just, it's Tetris. It's, it's, it's Tetris. There's nothing really much to say other than, you know, it's, it's fun. Yagno, Iagno, what is this? What is this? Yeah, this game actually also reminds me of Hexagon 2. This game actually reminds me of it. This actually reminds me of it a little bit more than, actually, eh. I mean, it's kind of similar. Oh God, Klotsky? Ah, oh, no, I hate this game. <laughs> so basically, you ha I think what you have to do is you gotta try to get this box out, out into here, but you gotta somehow, right, how do you move the, okay, there we go. Oh, that's awkward. So you literally have to like move your mouse in a virtual machine that's lagging like crazy. <laughs> Just to, all right, let me see. Okay, uh, that might be, at least I think that's how you play it. I could be wrong. I thought it was something like that. You kind of had to get this out. You have to get this out into here. You may move pattern block through the green blocks to win. Okay. Yeah, so that's basically what this is. You just gotta move these blocks in a way to where... Oh god, this is gonna be fucking hard. Oh god, you know, this is gonna be real hard. Oh my god. Uh... This, <laughs> this is actually kinda hard. Mahjong. Yeah, this is just Mahjong. It's, I mean, I don't know how to play Mahjong personally, but... Yeah, no, it's just, it's Mahjong. If you like Mahjong, here, well, here you go. You can play it in the first release of Ubuntu. Mines. Oh, don't tell me. Ah, oh, no. Not again. All right, let's get this on. All right, so far so good. Come on. Oh, come on. Is there... Uh... uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. It could be either one of these two. Oh, this is not... This is not giving me much confidence. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, okay, we're almost... We're getting close. God damn it. Wow, that... <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I suck at Minesweeper. It's just one of those games for me where it's like, I, heck, I wouldn't be shocked if for me if this becomes like a meme game. Like, like if someone makes a custom ISO, this has got to be part of the experience. Like if someone made a custom, like a, a 
like a, a joke ISO just for me. This would have to be in it. Copy of of Mines or Minesweeper. Ugh. Okay, okay. Mm, that, that's definitely out. And yes, look at that, guys. I actually figured out you can put flags down in this game. Hey, look at that. All right, so these are definitely out of the question. Oh, uh, which of these? <sighs> what the f God damn it. I kind of wonder if someone's gotten a mine on the first try or if that's or if it was like programmed to where you cannot get a mine on the first try. I wouldn't be shocked if it was either one of those. But if you could get a, a mine on, on the first click, that would be hilarious. <sighs> I just had to say that. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yes, come on. One one definitely those two i'm not gonna put though i'm not gonna click on those god damn it i hate this game nibbles what's nibbles worm game for gnome and yes i said gnome not good gnome wait a minute this is just this is snake this is literally snake so basically what you gotta do is you gotta eat i don't know if the cherries hurt you Oh, maybe they do. Okay. But basically, you gotta eat. Well, in this case, it's diamonds for whatever reason. And you gotta eat. You know, you gotta, you, you basically gotta eat as much diamonds as you can. Because that, because of, yeah, because as you can see, you're actually growing longer after every diamond you eat. I don't know how it is with this one. I don't know if the level ends, but... Yeah, if it's endless, you basically have to just go on as long as you can while not running into yourself. Yeah, I mean, I've heard about people playing this, like, back on, like, a, like, I think it was, like, the Nokia phones or something like that. Yeah, I can imagine this being a lot of fun. Okay, yeah, see, there we go. Yeah, see, so the level does end. Is there, like, an endless mode, I wonder? Let's see. Well, we can enable sounds, if they even work. We can change the color? Ooh, I like that. Even though I, even though red's my favorite color, so. But yeah, no, it's basically just snake. Nothing really much to say. Robots? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> the no bot no bots 2 has quit unexpectedly. Yes, we gotta inform the developers here, guys. We can't have this game be not working. We can't have that. We need this game to work, dang it. And it crashed. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> it just crashed. Lovely. All right, yes. Force quit, please. All right, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Same gnome. What is this? Oh, I know exactly what this is. This is basically the goal of these games is you gotta click like matching. See like this, how they all match or like this. See how they all match with the ones that are moving? You can just click and they disappear. However, you also have to be strategic while doing it. Because you could actually end up losing. Because then you'll get stuck. Because the balls will be in a pattern where <laughs> you can't even beat the level. Uh, trying to be kind of careful here. All right, all right. So far, so good. Oh, uh, get rid of... Oh, no, I'm done here, aren't I? Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Wait. Yeah, I love that. I love getting that first try. Planets? They got a planets theme? Oh, I gotta see this. Hang on. Ooh. 1985 Earth and Jupiter. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I will say this is actually kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. This is actually kind of neat. Yeah, it reminds me of, um, yeah, there was like, there was like a PC game. It was from the early 2000s. I think it was called, what was it, Click? I think, and it was basically this exact same thing. Actually, in fact, I think a couple of those games like this we're actually part of that Grandpa's Games Pack in a video I did a while ago. But yeah, no, as you can see, it's just, it's click. Oh crap, am I toast? Oh, now you pop up? Oh, get out of here. No, no, fuck you. I'm trying to play. See, and this is what I mean. You could get stuck so easily. See, like this, see? See, and that means, this means you lose. So, yeah, no, that's, so yeah, that's same gnome. Stone, stones? Gnome stones. Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> I like the I like the little character at the <laughs> I love that character. But yeah, it looks like apparently you just gotta collect these diamonds, I think. Yeah, so you just gotta collect the diamonds. And I guess there's an exit. Yeah, I, and I love how you can also just outrun the screen. Look at that! I can outrun the screen. <laughs> All right, so it looks like I got all the diamonds I needed. Oh, I almost died there. I almost got squashed by the rocks. 
Now, where is the exit? Is it just like a random place on the map or is it... Oh, wait, here we go. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> but yeah, no, th yeah, this actually is kind of fun. Some of these games actually are kind of fun. Pally, wait a minute. <gasps> this is, y yeah, it's Yahtzee. Oh, no way, dude. Hang on, we gotta play, we gotta play at least a quick game of Yahtzee. Hey, so let's just save these three. Wait, but then why did these disappear? Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's interesting. So this is like, if you want to save your dice, it's kind of the opposite of what you usually do in these kinds of games. If you want to save your dice, you usually just click them. But if you want to save your dice, you don't click them. Okay, <laughs> whatever sense that makes. But yeah, no, at least I got, let's see, I got a four of a kind. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's basically, it's just Yahtzee. It's nothing more Petrovex. Oh man, this game. Oh, don't do this to me. Uh, watch, this is probably something so stupidly simple I just don't get. All right, so it looks like because none of these other ones have zero. I'm guessing that that's gonna go at the bottom. Nine, that should go there. That I'm guessing goes there. Uh, so that goes there. Oh, this is gonna, this is gonna kind of, actually, no, wait. Wait, but that's an eight, and none of these are eights. I'm confused. I'm confused already. It's, oh my god, how do you fucking do this? Again, maybe it's just something I'm missing. I wouldn't be remotely shocked if it was just something I was missing. But, oh. Can you flip these? What? Hey, let me, let me think about it. Let me think. Let me think about this. Oh, the one with the zeros at the left. Oh, god damn it. All right, so is there like one of, is there like an only number here at the bottom? So four, uh, so the bottom, the bottom would have to be seven. See, this is what I mean. This state, this actually takes a lot of thinking. That's what makes this so good. It just, it, it lets you, it makes you think a lot. All right, so since the eight's at the left, is there an eight at the right on any of these? No, so that's gonna go at the bottom left. So at least we're getting a little bit somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, that's what, yeah, and so there's three of these that have freaking sevens. Ugh. Let me think, hang on, hang on. Uh, right, so the one at the right there, so that's gotta go there. Uh, eight's at the bottom, so that's gotta go there, right? Yeah, okay. Two's at the left, so that's gotta go there. And how many more sevens are at the bottom? Uh, so that's probably gotta go there. Cause I don't see any nines here on the right. Put that there. Uh, I go there. Yeah! I solved the puzzle, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah! I, I, I love that game. I actually really like that game. It's just, it's a pain in the ass at first figuring it out, but once you get it, it is super satisfying. Oh, we got GIMP, ladies and gentlemen. Look, we got GIMP. This is what I used to make my thumbnails. <laughs> Yes, this is actually what I use to make my thumbnails, though. It's a much later version than this. All right, can we create a new? All right, so yeah, we'll just create a new. Yeah, here we go. So now you can just create your own picture. You can draw. You can, you can just do whatever. Or if you wanted to create your own thumbnail, even though, well, this was 2004. Obviously, YouTube wasn't even a thing yet. But yeah, no, that's GIMP. Just, it's super basic compared to later versions. Evolution, Evolution Mail. Oh my god, is this like, um, is this like Thunderbird? This has got to be like Thunderbird, right? Hang on. One at one. There we go. <laughs> this is what I mean. It just lags like crazy. Who starts? <laughs> We're gonna click the apply button, and there we go. This literally, this literally looks just like Outlook. Like the older versions of Outlook. Man, those were those were good times. Remember when Outlook used to be good? Uh-oh, what happened to the, what happened to the bar up here? Uh-oh. Game Internet me Messenger. Oh my god, this is a literal clone of aim <laughs> i mean hey you know what if this was free hey you know what at least i guess that's a reason to choose this over aim but <laughs> like look at even look at the they even got the running man it's like what the fuck oh my god no meaning talk to people over the internet farts f1 see and this is what's interesting about these programs too because these programs are so old you could just put something like this as your email address and you'd be and it would work just fine we're gonna set that to lan oh my god 56k modem god i remember those days don't even get me started <laughs> welcome to gnome meeting oh so 
This is like one of those like really old video chat programs. You know what I'm talking about, right? They're like these really old, like think of like Skype, only like 10 or so years earlier. <laughs> you know, th this is like old school. Like, you know, no meeting is like old school online video chatting. Oh my God, we got, we got Firefox, ladies and gentlemen, we got Firefox. Let's see what version of Firefox we got on here. 0.9.3, it's not even the first version. This, so this is like a beta, this is like a beta, I think. This is like the, this is like one of the original betas of Firefox. Let's see if Google works. Oh my God, well, Google works. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't even access. Oh man. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh cats maybe? Will we, will we can we will we have like pictures? Hey, there we go. Oh man. Oh, I love that cat. <laughs> oh, that's even funnier. I can't even access. I can't even put the picture in full screen <laughs> cuz the browser is so old. It doesn't know how to recognize like these newer certificates. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, please update your- Yeah, I'll say. It's not supported anymore. Oh, man, that's funny. You know what? Hey, you know what? At least we can still access sites like- Hang on. Nathan's Toasty- Toasty? <laughs> Toasty Tech. Yeah. Look at that. Graphical user interface gallery. And quick screen grabs a Windows 11. Yuck. That's just crazy to think Nathan updates this website still to this day. Now, this has probably been up for years. Now, considering how old this this website looks, this has probably been around since like the late 90s. Hotem movie player. Oh my god. I <laughs> like the pixelated icon here. I love that. So old school. Yeah, this actually almost looks like... Yeah, this actually really does look like an early version of, of um, VLC Media Player, doesn't it? It looks like a like a really old version of, media, of VLC. Office? Open office, of course. You gotta have your open office. I wanna see how much has changed since... Well, I mean, for the... Actually, this is interesting. So for the most part, I mean... There were features added and a couple things have changed, but this actually looks kind of similar to what we have today. So yeah, no, that's actually pretty cool that they kind of kept this design language. Hello. Uh, I got word processor, of course. <laughs> Farts. <laughs> Who needs Microsoft Office when you have Open Office? Oh my God, the floppy formatter, the root terminal. Actually, let's see the system monitor. I'm just curious how little resources this uses. 136 megabytes. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, no, you could definitely. Yeah, no, you could definitely use this on like a retro PC if, if you wanted to, even though, I mean, unless if you really like Linux so much, like if you love the older versions and their look and you want to just install it for fun. But would I use, would I use especially this as a daily driver? Probably not. And of course, because it's Linux, gotta have your terminal. <laughs> Man, considering this is like the first version or the first public version of Ubuntu, uh, I'm not even sure is apt, I don't think apt installs even a thing, is it? Yeah, that's not even, heck, I don't think you even have, yeah, you don't even have like package managers. Yeah, it's literally like you just download it from the internet. But anyway, guys, I think that's just about gonna cut it for, t actually, actually, let me check. Let me see if I can change the desktop background real quick. Oh, this lag is so bad. Ubuntu chocolate widescreen. I don't see much of a difference. You can just see no wallpaper. <laughs> you know, let's just, let's choose a different color. This turd, this turd brown is just, ugh, looks gross. Yeah, actually, oh God, that's actually kind of blinding a little bit. Yeah, let's do a gradient, why not? I'll make the gradient, uh, let's make the gradient like purple, why not? Yeah. Now it looks sick. But anyway, guys, that's about it for first version of Ubuntu. I mean, what can I say, really? It's it's the one that started it all, you know? So, I mean, for the first version, this is actually, like, pretty good. I mean, obviously, there's not many features yet. <laughs> but in the coming years, you know, more would be added. And then you would have, like, the package managers and... Like, they would just add feature upon feature upon feature. So this is like the blueprint. This is like the starting point. And honestly, I think that's what makes this pretty noteworthy. So if you guys enjoyed the video, you know, you make sure you give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more upcoming content. And until next time, guys, peace.